but there's like a couple of really steep hills, which will just really. Is it rolling at all, or is it just? Uh, it seems like it's either like solid downhill or solid uphill. Or uh, flat. Yeah, or flat. So, um, yeah, so it'll be working or flying, basically. Oh yeah. Just going by these old apartments, apartments and we're like, how much does that apartment cost? Yeah, yeah. one point six million. Oh, or nine hundred. Nine hundred bucks. Just keep it. <laughs> just be normal. Oh, yeah. You got something. You got something. <laughs> All right. This looks pretty good. Uh, we're out here for the uh, Club Cross Country National Championships going down tomorrow at Golden Gate Park, San Francisco, 12.30 p.m. December 10th, 2022. Club Cross Country for those that, that like running a little too much, I think is a good way to put it. Well, we, we, we run uh, for fun. This is all completely voluntary. No one's making us do this. Uh, we get together uh, and run as fast as we can for 6.2 miles for some reason. You like to beat other people and you have that as bragging rights, more or less. Uh, <laughs> it's running stupid, I don't know. <laughs> but instead of it being a truly individual sport, um, it's set up as a team, so it can be like five people, four people, six people, however many score. And then your score of who wins the race is really about that team and how well they do collectively. It's essentially a eh, score similar to golf where lowest score wins in a sense of each place you get, you get awarded that many points. Uh, so if you get first place, one point, it's the least amount of points someone can get uh, in the whole race. Uh, and then you hope that everyone on your team places low enough across the field so that when you add all five places up, you guys have the lowest score and then you win. We don't normally win though. I think the best we've ever gotten here is seventh or eighth place, I want to say, um, three years ago. But anything can happen. We're repping Portland. We need to rep us. We need to rep us well. Uh, you know, if there's other people there, I always say like, well, what are the jacuzzi? We always hear about them, you know, on our <laughs> Instagram pages or whatnot. You know, this is the time that we actually get a show, show off about it. It is that uh, team environment that we kind of, that jacuzzi boys wanted to um, recreate from high school, college years that like as you graduate and move on to like being an adult and making money more of a personal thing, you kind of lose if you aren't intentional. You run together, your friends and your teammates and you compete together at an event like Club Cross. Um, I think the last question I have is, how are you feeling about the rain tomorrow, like the, the storm that's brewing? It sounds like it's gonna be rainy. The rain, I'll welcome it. That's real cross country. I think we're all kind of just envisioning worse than it may end up being. So we, uh, we're out here in California and apparently, you know, they're not very used to this, this, this precipitation coming from the sky. Um, so instead of running the actual cross country course, uh, we're gonna be running on a dirt rock thousand meter loop track uh, for the race today. No one knows how many laps. No one knows how many laps you actually are gonna do because it looks like you can just finish whenever. Um, so it might be some nice PRs today if you run a lap short. <laughs> no idea.
running a lot of the times is seen as an individual sport. Uh, but here in club cross country, uh, you're fighting out there with four, five, six other guys, girls on your team. Uh, so it's something that doesn't really happen that often after high school or college, and that's kind of what makes this event super special. Come on, mate. Come on. I think I rhyme as well as like, yeah, it up. You're never gonna have a bad time at a jacuzzi. You could be a hurting, long day of work, long day chopping out trees, mowing the lawn, whatever, but as soon as you sit in a jacuzzi, you're gonna have a good time. Yeah, it's harder to find a jacuzzi at an Airbnb than you might think in San Francisco. Um, so we certainly looked for that, oh, didn't find it. Just a little kiss, just a little kiss. Give me a little kiss. So I think that's a, that's, a, that's a great metaphor for kind of what Jacuzzi Boy is going to be. You know, whether we're together, we're going to be hurting the cross-country course, but guess what? Afterwards, guess we're going to end up Jacuzzi. Hypothetically or literally. Get in the tub, man.